What's up folks? Today I'm going to be showing you the card game Stun. This game came out from the IGI Corporation in 1986 and it is for 2 to 6 players. Another makers of Uno game folks. Anyway, object of this little game is you're going to be uh, trying to collect a certain amount of coins and uh, they're divided in 4 sets and each set has 15 coins in it. You're just simply going to be drawing cards and uh, of course you can stop at any time and collect the coins that you have or you can keep going but you got to watch out for that dreaded Stun card. So let's show you sun okay everybody let's go ahead and show you the cards uh most of these cards have what are called coins on them um uh, here is a stun plus card this is the big one it has four coins here's one that has two coins another one has two basically it goes from one to four coins uh this is a stun minus card um this is basically going to take away two coins from your running total which i'm going to go ahead and talk about and then of course you have the dreaded stun card so here's how it works uh, this is a press your luck type of a game and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, drawing cards and um, you're going to have the choice as to whether you want to stop and then bank the coins that you uh, turned over or you can keep going. Um, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get uh, four sets of 15 coins each. Anytime you get those 15 coins you're going to pick a chip up and you're going to put it down so no matter what happens you're not going to lose those 15 coins and ultimately what you're trying to do is you're trying to collect four of these coins which is basically going to be you know the four sets of the 15 cards. So let's go ahead and say I decide to keep going. Uh, right there is four, two cards, and bam, I just hit the stun card. Now, what the stun card is going to do is it's going to eliminate all of the coins that you drew, uh, and it's going to go on to the next player. So then the player two will go ahead and go. He bought, drew a stun right off the bat. That's a pain. So he's going to lose his turn, and it goes back to player one. So player one uh, draws two coins. He drew a stun minus, so that is going to take away the two coins he got, and it's going to be back down to zero. So let's just say he keeps going. He draws one coin. And he got a stun card. Not a good game right now, but let's just go ahead and go to this player two. Let's just say he draws this. And he's got five coins. So this time he decides he's going to go ahead and bank the five coins. So he basically just needs ten coins in order to get his first chip. So then it goes back to player one. Player one has two chips, three chips, five chips. Let's say he goes one more time. Boom! Stun. Bad, bad choice. So anyway, he loses these. <laughs> Man. Well, anyway... What's your, again, what you're trying to do is you're just simply going to be trying to get uh, four of these chips. And the first person that is able to do that is going to win the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Stun. So my final thoughts on Stun. Okay, well, this is a simple game. This is probably more geared for kids than adults because it's a pressure luck game and it's very easy. Um, not too many rules with this game. Uh, I do enjoy playing this game. Um, fun game. Now, the times I have played this game with my wife, I have enjoyed it. Uh, that stun card can be a real pain in the butt, though, because you'll get so close to getting a set and you're, and you're wondering, should I keep going or try to get the set? And then when you end up going, you end up getting the stun card and you end up having to get set back. So that's always fun to watch. But it is definitely not fun to go through. Uh, now, something that tends to happen sometimes is your opponent will end up stopping and then the very next card will be a stun card and you'll draw it and then they get to go again. But again, if that happens to them, it's awful fun watching them grimace. Um, the, uh, this is a game that can kind of get away from you. I mean, if you end up getting those stun cards a lot, your opponent doesn't. Um, you know, they can get ahead pretty quick. But that doesn't mean you can't catch up. But really, all they have to do is just draw fewer cards and, you know, just basically inch their way up to uh, the magic fourth set. And you, the other person has to take more risks. Um, typically, this game goes for around 15 or $20 on eBay, so I guess there is some sort of nostalgia to this game. I'm not really sure. Would I recommend this game? Yes, if you can find it for cheap. It's definitely not worth $15, uh, but it's not a very common game, so if you can find it like at a thrift store, I would definitely pick it up. Uh, it's a pretty cool little game, but again, there are other pressure luck games out there um, that are probably cheaper than this. Um, so really, if you're a collector of vintage games like me, then you probably might want to get it, but if you see it at a thrift store for like a dollar, yeah, I would go ahead and pick it up, but I wouldn't like spend 15 bucks on it. But anyway, guys, that's my review of Stun. I hope you all have a great day. Keep on gaming.